Now was acknowledged the presence of the Red Death. He had come like a thief in the night, and one by one dropped the revelers in the blood-bedewed halls. The life of the ebony clock went out, and the flames of the tripods expired. Darkness, decay, and the Red Death held imitable dominion over all. And you guys thought I wasn't cultured. Anyways, today we're going to be taking a look at a really, really badass custom mask that I got from Jeff Death himself. It's the Bone Reaper. This is a custom version, like I said. It's got a red hood and it's normally black. I was thinking I wanted a Mask of the Red Death thing going on. And I think it's very, very striking this way. It really, really makes a statement. Really, really cool looking mask. Very, very happy with it. I don't know if it's gonna show up on camera, but there's kind of a almost green hue to the skull part of it. I think this is the same basic sculpture as another skeleton. Might be the cracked skull, but they put this burlap thing over it. This looks like, I'm not an expert on the fine art of mask making, but I understand that you can just put like a piece of burlap on the dill when you're making the mold and whatever, and that looks like what they did. They took the, I think it might have been the cracked skull, and put this hood that they made for it. And I don't know, it's really, really cool. It looks like about a thousand times better than like you get one of the, the ghoulish productions like Scarecrows or like the Dark Knight of the Scarecrow mask from Tots or whatever. It's really, really nice looking, the, the effect on the burlap and all the little like stitches and everything. You can see all these folds and stuff in it. And the texture is amazing and the black wash and you know, the paint works just phenomenal on this. It looks really, really good. I'm sure somebody else has probably had these painted up like this. I've seen lots of people do a Skeletor version of this mask. But I don't know, I think it looks very, very striking like this. It, you know, it really, really makes a statement and stands out on the shelf. And I don't even think he charged me anything extra to to do like custom work on this. You know, it's probably because I'm one of his best customers and I'm putting his grandkids through college or whatever. But anyways, this is a great, great mask. I don't have like a ton of skull masks in my collection for some reason. I was like looking around at my dough and go, gee, I only have like the, the Don Post, the clown skull and the, the Halloween three skull and like the I don't know the misfits uh, uh, crimson ghost or something like I only have three or four skulls in my collection which is strange because I have like a ton of friggin masks like everywhere but anyways it's a very very cool mask highly recommend it it's really not any more expensive than a lot of the trick-or-treat studios masks like the like a lot of their more high-end ones that are bigger, they want to charge like a hundred bucks for them and stuff now. It's like really not worth it, you know? Like this is a million times better. You know, unless you're all hung up about happening to... If you just want like a cool looking mask, I do have a lot of masks of like the It's Alive Baby and, you know, Teenage Frankenstein and you know, Nosferatu and whatever in my collection and the Dawn of the Dead zombies and stuff, but if you're not all hung up about happening to have like a a mask of a specific character, you know, and like I said, I'm not going to front, I have tons of Dills of Chewbacca and the, the you know, Dr. Fives and Tor Johnson and whatever, but, um, but anyways, if you just want like a really, really cool generic mask, like all the Death Studios masks and like a lot of Dark Side Studios masks are really good. They're basically Death Studios and Dark Side Studios make like handmade custom masks that are pretty cheap for like around a hundred-ish dollars. And yeah, that is expensive, but, but like I said, the Tots masks are getting so friggin' expensive. They used to... I mean, you can find great deals on Tots masks, like if you look around on eBay and Amazon and whatever, I got tons of masks from Trick or Treat Studios for like 30 bucks and stuff. 
and Ghoulish Productions is a good option too. You can get tons and tons of Ghoulish Productions masks for like I've even got Ghoulish Productions masks for like fourteen dollars and stuff that are really good. But but anyways, I'm rambling and I digress and whatever. This is a great great mask if you're looking for a really really high quality mask and you're in the states here. I don't know if he ships like internationally anymore. I highly, highly recommend Death Studios, and they do have a, some characters from like movies. If you're only interested in the that whole, th you know, that whole subset of horror masks, but if you're just looking for like a a really, really off the charts zombie or skeleton or you know pumpkin or something like that, you know, Death Studios is like definitely the way to go. And I'll probably be back next week with something else cool to show you guys. Catch you later.